For more Magic the Gathering resources, check out my friends at paperchampion.net and Kitchen Table MTG. Okay, so we are playing Jund Reanimator. Um, basically, I have a whole bunch of tapped lands, which just really sucks. Um, except for Blooming Marsh. Alright, so let's go keep, I guess. It's not the worst, but also not the best. Okay, so I can go turn one. Um, opponent multi five, which is really good for me. Okay, so Spire Bluff Canal. Okay, so turn one, let's go Sheltered Thicket. Alright. Oh, alright, so just Sheltered Thicket and go. So turn two, I'll play Blooming Marsh into Channeler Initiate. Okay. Double Channeler Initiate is quite nice. Okay, so let's get green and green. And we'll go Channeler Initiate. Okay, then I can start using that to pump up the mana. Okay. All right, so opponent's got Aether Hub coming online. Probably can start casting stuff this turn. Probably, yeah. Okay, so what do they have? Fevered Visions. All right. The being of each end step, that player draws a card here. Opponent has four or more cards in hand, deals two damage. Okay. Okay, draw me a card. Okay. That's going to be pretty awful for me, but all right, let's go. Hmm. Well, let's get an evolving wild out. We will. Hmm. Destroy target creature. Okay, that's too bad. Let's get another channeler initiate out. Okay, we'll put those counters on themselves. Okay, I will tap for a green and get a vessel of nascency out. All right, uh, reel the top four cards of your library. You may put an artifact creature and land into the into their hand, the rest into your graveyard. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll just run it like that. All right, so I'm taking two from Fevered Visions. This reminds me of uh, MTG Goldfish's deck or Saffron Olive's deck. Um, basically, where they're just going to make you draw cards and Fevered Visions you all the time. All right, very well. Okay, too bad I lost my Chandler Initiates, but that's okay. Let's go get a... what do I need? Mountain. Okay. Alright, and... Alright, so just too much land. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll go... Let's go play another... Let's Yeah, let's bring a Blooming Marsh, I guess? Or... Uh, well, yeah, that's going to come in tapped anyway, so whatever. Okay, and then I can always sack my Vessel of Nascency. Okay. Man, Fevered Vision is just going to kill me here. I just can't get my stuff out fast enough, especially because my mana is just not coming online in, like the way I want it. But if I get out Glorybringer, I might be able to put a... Oh. All right. Okay, okay. All right, so on my upkeep, let's see, what do I need? Liliana, all right. Okay, let's put some pressure on the board here. Or I can't even put pressure on the board. Oh, man. Okay, so I need five mana for that, and I can't get anything untapped. So let's go get an Evolving Wilds, I guess. Actually, let's just get this out. Play. Okay, so I will, let's see, pay one for Traverse the Elvenwald. Okay, we'll get um, another mountain, I guess, or let's get a swamp out. Okay, and go. I take four damage. Okay, um, all right, let's get rid of Evolving Wilds and go. Man, I'm going to die to Fevered Visions. Just, everything's just so expensive in my hand. And my opponent's not playing any creatures. So, okay, so things like Unlicensed Disintegration are going to have to come out. 
Okay, anticipate, sure. Okay. Anticipate again. Okay. So I think I'm going to lose turn or round one. All right. Um, okay. Arlen Cord. <sighs> All right. Let's go get the swamp out of my hand and tap, 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 and tap. Let's get Liliana Death's Majesty out. Okay, and can I return, what do I have in my graveyard? Nothing really, okay, so let's create a token. Okay, I've already played a land this turn, I'm sure. Okay. And go. Okay, so that's going to do two damage to me. Man, my mana curve is just so high. And my opponent doesn't have any creatures, so basically there's no point in me. Like, I just can't get cast Unlicensed Disintegration out. Right, so, hmm. Let's let's dis discard an Unlicensed Disintegration. Okay. So... Yeah, so if they have, yeah, it deals two damage, it has four or more cards, yeah, okay. Alright, an Arlen Cord, okay. Alright, so make a wolf, okay, no big deal. That player draws two cards, it has four or more cards in hand, deals two damage to him or her. That's weird. Why isn't it doing two damage to my opponent? Oh, if you're a plane, is your opponent? Okay, that's why. All right. Very well. Okay. Ugh. All right. So let's go get. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Hissing Quagmire, I guess. Tap, tap. Um, tap, tap, and tap for Glorybringer. All right, and. I've already played enough land, so can't get that out. All right, well, we will just swing. Attack Snooky, attack Arlen Cord. Okay, and go. I think I'm just dead. I can't get all the cards out of my hand. All right, yeah, I've just got too much. All right, so let's go concede here. Yeah, I don't think I can win here. Let's give my opponent a couple Gs for that. Well played. I think it's just because my deck is like mainly a lot of removal for creatures. So I think Unlicensed Disintegration's gotta come out. Uh, destroy Target Artifact or Enchantment looks really good. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Dispossess. Choose an artifact card name. Nope. Painful truth. You draw X cards. So I definitely don't want that. Sweltering Suns is not going to be good. Manglehorn. Start our target artifact. Kalidas. No. Okay. By force. Okay. So I need to put something else back in here. Let's see. Um, maybe something like Scarab Feast. And hmm. No, maybe transgress the mind. At least get a chance of getting something, taking a look at my opponent's hand. Just something a little bit faster. Alright. Let's see. Painful Truths is what? X cards use X life for. Um, okay. Dispossess. Okay. Let's run it like that and see how we do. I think I just need to lower the curve a little bit here. And. Yeah, like last turn, especially with the way my mana was, I couldn't basically play almost anything until like turn 5, especially because my opponent wasn't playing any removal or any creatures to remove. Alright, so... Uh, okay, so... I don't think I can keep this. Let's, um... Hmm... Actually, 
I think it's okay. So I can get Arlen Cord out, Channeler Initiate. Once Channeler Initiate's out, I can get Tireless Tracker, and then hopefully start getting stuff, better stuff out. Okay, so let's just play Sheltered Thicket and go. I think I'm just heavily unfavored against a deck like this. Okay, Natural State is good. Okay, so let's just play an Evolving Wilds. And I'll tap this, get Vessel of Nascency out. Okay, go. Alright, so on my opponent's turn here, I will... They've got nothing. Okay. No play. I'm okay with that. Okay, so sacrifice and we'll grab a mountain or a swamp, sorry. Get some black mana online. Hissing Quagmire. Okay, so let's go tap and tap and get Ch Channeler Initiate out. Okay. And then I can get Arlen Cord. Oh, they're going to blow up my Channeler Initiate. Oh, just anticipating. Okay. Okay, so my opponent's anticipating. Okay, alright. Okay, get some minus one, minus one counters. Okay. And Hissing Quagmire, go. Alright, so I think I'm looking a lot better. Much lower curve in my hand, and next turn I can get Arlen Cord out, start making some some wolf tokens and you know putting some offensive pressure on my opponent. Okay, so what's this? A fever visions? Maybe. Okay. What do they have? Sweltering Suns. Three damage to each creature. Alright. Well, I'd rather them do it now. Okay, well, that's alright. So let's go and get our tire tireless tracker out. Okay, play a game trail. Nope, but still get a clue. Okay, and go. Alright, so still got some good pressure on my opponent. I still have natural state in case my, my opponent puts another fevered visions down. Okay, do they have it? Probably. Filigree familiar, okay. Okay, give me two life, sure. Okay, so let's go canyon slow. We'll just play that. Okay. We will... Hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's pay one for Fatal Push. And just destroy that. Ah, oh, Idiot. Okay, well. Okay, let's crack a clue. Okay, draw a card and get a counter. Okay, transgress the mines, okay. Alright, so let's just swing. All right, so starting to put some uh, some pressure on my opponent. At least they're on a clock now. Okay, so next turn they can go in for two. Okay, sure. I'll take the two from Filigree Familiar. Now would be nice to get a Glory Bringer. Okay, so what do they have? Anticipating, sure. Looking for. Okay, looking for something. Still looking for their fevered visions, probably. Okay. Okay. Chandra. Okay, so what's going to be better? Chandra or... Let's see. I think Arlen Cord is actually the better one. So let's go green for Arlen Cord. Okay. Is it three in? No. Did I not just have... Oh. Okay. I was like, it's just a little bit confused there. I'm like, what is going on? Okay. 2-2 two, two green wolf token. 
Okay, to help protect him, protect her. All right. We will swing with tireless tracker. Okay. All right, so if I can get this emblem, let's see, creatures control have haste and this creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player. That's actually pretty good. Because then I can just tap them and don't have to go into battle with them. Um, it will take a while for me to get that online, but who knows, maybe I can do it. Okay. So they played disperse, what's that? Non-line permanent to its owner's hand. Okay, what did they target? Oh, return the wolf. Okay. Man, I'd like to be able to cast natural state against... <laughs> okay, Arlen Cord. Okay, fine. Alright, so gets a plus one, plus one. Sure. Hmm. Who are they attacking? Arlen Cord is being attacked by Filigree Familiar. Alright. We'll just destroy that. Okay. Okay. Well, looking good so far. So, Grim Flare. Okay. Let's get out Chandra. Okay, so get red, red. Okay, and we will creatures control get plus one, plus one, gain trample. Okay, um, I will just add two mana. We will pay those two and crack a clue. Okay, put a plus one, plus one counter on Tyler's tracker. Draw a card, play a Hissing Quagmire, okay, and yeah, looking okay. Attack Arlen Cord, sure. Okay, so we're looking okay now. I don't quite have Grim Flares online here, so opponent's getting a basic land card. Okay, so they've got an island. Do they have the fevered visions? Okay. So let's see, I'm going into open mana, but all right. Let's go tap for black and green, getting a Grim Flare. Okay, we will pump up Arlen Cord. Okay, we will pump up Hmm, hmm. Let's see. Do I have enough mana here? Yeah, I could. Depending on what it is, it could be really good. So let's make it on the top card. Your library. Okay. Nope. Okay, just do two damage to my opponent. We will. Hmm. Let's go try and. Uh, do I try and transgress the mind? Hmm, or do I just go Hissing Quagmire? All right, yeah, let's just go Hissing Quagmire. Okay, so that's gonna be um, green, black, colorless. Okay. So Hissing Quagmire and hmm. Okay, and we'll just go, I guess. So we'll swing for eight here. Okay, opponent's got something. Anticipating, okay. Looking for something to get them out of this. They probably do have something. Okay. Alright, so Arlen Core is almost about to ultimate here. 
Alright, so that would be very bad for my opponent. Prevent all combat damage. Alright, fair enough. Stupid tur turbo mill. Okay. Alright, so what does my opponent have here? Okay, attune with the Aether. Okay, getting some. Oh man, ramping mana like crazy. Okay. Hmm, they must have something huge. Let's go transgress the mine next turn and see what they have. Okay, so let's see. Let's go tap and tap for transgress the mind on my opponent. Let's see what's in their hand. Okay, so you can get a, a big fatty out of their hand if they have one. Oh, Elder Deep Fiend, Flash, Emerge. Okay, we need to tap up to four target permits. Oh, okay. You're going away. All right, so that gets my Grim Flare online. That's good. Let's go tick up Arlen Cord. Okay, so my opponents are almost going for. I'm almost going for lethal next turn. Let's. Uh, actually, I am. So let's go Chandra. Exile top card in my library. Can't play that. So no. Okay. Crack a clue. Draw a card. Okay, and that is lethal unless my opponent's got something. I should have recorded what they had in their hand, but we'll still swing. Okay, so we'll go to combat. Okay, we'll swing with everything. Okay, so Arlen Cord's going to ultimate next turn. Haze of Pollen enters the effect area. Okay. He's a all common damage. Oh, yeah, they're playing that turbo fog. Oh, opponent, that was the wrong card to return to hand. Right, so I can get a, I can get her token, and then yeah, that was the wrong card. You're gonna let Arlen Court ultimate, and then I'll just be able to do direct damage to you, and you won't be able to block it with your fog effects. Okay. All right, so looking good. Um, let's ultimate. Sure, we'll play a mountain. Oh yeah, my opponent. I think they realized what happened there. So all right, ah, and they scooped. Really, you won on turn on round one, and you you won on round one, and you scooped. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. Ah, uh, that's the problem with this Jundry animator is that once someone loses, they just like. They don't want to play anymore. It's just awful. Alright. Well, anyways, that's the match. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. See you next time.